What is the legislature? The law of the country really come from the judiciary, the justice system. Well, the laws of the country is basically made by the prime minister and the president together with the help of the constitution. Will be the MPs together with the senators and the prime minister all form in one body. It is a combination between the opposition and the, 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 the government. The laws of the country is made by parliament. The Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago provides for three branches of the state, which are the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. The legislature, simply put, is the parliament. Its main role is to enact laws and it consists of the President, the Senate, and the House of Representatives. The method of enactment of laws is through the passage of bills passed by the House and the Senate and assented to by the President. Bills may be introduced in either the Senate or the House, except a money bill, which must be introduced in the House. A money bill deals mainly with taxation and public expenditure. The Senate is the part of the government that rules the country where they are the executive of the government. Those are the people who are who are voted into power. The Senate is like the people who um, give the okay for the laws. Final decision making process of any legislation that's passed in the lower house. I don't know exactly the Senate. <laughs> I don't know nothing much about the Senate, only that it and the new and the need the party the, the ministers. The Senate is part of our parliament. Our parliament is structured in two parts. is the upper house and the lower house, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The Senate consists of 31 members referred to as senators. 16 senators are appointed by the president acting on the advice of the prime minister and six are appointed by the president acting on the advice of the leader of the opposition. The remaining nine senators are appointed by the president in his discretion. To be eligible for appointment, a person must be a citizen of Trinidad and Tobago, 25 years old or older. The Senate is also called the Upper House. When the Senate first meets after any general election, the first thing it does is it elects one senator to be president of the Senate and another to be vice president. If either office becomes vacant at any time before Parliament is dissolved, the Senate elects another senator to that office. What does the President of the Senate do? The President of the Senate presides over sittings and chairs committees of the Upper House. He also acts temporarily as President of the country where the office is vacant or when the President is unable to perform his functions by reason of absence or illness. What is the House of Representatives? The House of Representatives is made up of elected members representing the various constituencies throughout Trinidad and Tobago. At present, Trinidad and Tobago is divided into 41 constituencies. There is an Elections and Boundaries Commission which reviews the number and boundaries of the constituencies and submits recommendations for changes, if necessary, to the Prime Minister and the Speaker for presentation to the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives is also called the Lower House. The Constitution provides for election of members of the House by secret ballot and by the first-past-the-post system. This provision is not entrenched and may be altered by a simple majority. Members of the House are elected for a term of five years and must be citizens aged 18 years or older and resident in Trinidad and Tobago for two years prior to nomination for election. Who presides over the House of Representatives? The presiding officer of the House is the Speaker. When the House first meets after a general election, the first thing it does before proceeding to any other business is to elect a Speaker and Deputy Speaker. Ministers and Parliamentary Secretaries are not eligible for election. What does the Speaker do? 
The Speaker of the House presides over each sitting, maintaining order and enforcing the rules as necessary. He or she acts as Chairman of Committees and is also responsible for the management and general administration of the House. The Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition must be members of the House of Representatives. The Prime Minister is the person who is the leader of the party that wins the majority of seats in the House of Representatives. The Leader of the Opposition is the person who commands the support of the greatest number of members of the House who do not support the government. He must also be willing to be appointed as Leader of the Opposition. This constitution is the supreme law of Trinidad and Tobago. And any other law that is inconsistent with this constitution is void to the extent of the inconsistency. Parliament may make laws for the peace, order and good government of the country, but the provisions made in the constitution can only be altered under certain conditions. It is necessary to have mechanisms to ensure that the constitution keeps up with the needs of a changing society. However, that's one side of it. Of course, there's a view that a constitution being a document of such importance, it being the rules of which govern how the institutions of the state operate, one doesn't want to leave it in a situation where it is so flexible that it can be easily changed. So it's a, it's a balance that has to be struck, essentially. So there is provision to amend the Constitution. When it is said that the Constitution is a supreme law, what is meant is that any law that conflicts with the Constitution is unconstitutional. But of course you can have a law which amends the Constitution. Some of the sections of the Constitution can be amended by a simple majority. Others, which we call entrenched provisions, uh, require a two-thirds majority in the House and a two-thirds majority in the Senate. There are other sections that are specially entrenched and those require a majority of three-quarters in the House and two-thirds in the Senate. For the most part, the privileges and immunities of the Parliament are similar to the House of Commons of the United Kingdom. The most important of these is freedom of speech in the Senate and House of Representatives. These privileges and immunities are intended to facilitate the better discharge of parliamentary duties. Once a legislation, piece of legislation is passed, um, it's a law. And, um, it's important that in that process of passage of legislation that the debate that surrounds whether to pass that legislation um, is one that is uninhibited and one in which every opportunity is made for all the stakeholders, all the participants in the debate to be able to, to freely vent any concerns. How does a new session of Parliament begin? Sessions of Parliament begin by proclamation of the President. How many sessions of Parliament should there be each year? Both the Senate and the House of Representatives must meet at least once every year without a six-month interval between sittings. The President, acting in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, may prorogue or dissolve Parliament at any time. Parliament may appoint committees, but the Constitution establishes a number of important ones, two of which are the Public Accounts Committee and the Public Accounts Enterprises Committee. These committees deal with financial matters and report to the House of Representatives. They are advised by the Auditor General. This officer audits and reports on the public accounts of Trinidad and Tobago. The Auditor General is an independent public officer appointed by the President after consultation with the Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition. In what specific areas can the President act on his own? Major appointments, let us say what, Chief Justice or possibly what, Auditor General had previously been the Prime Minister after consultation with Leader of the Opposition advises the Governor General. The word advise means that he must do what uh, the head of the government 
says should be done in the particular circumstances. With the Republican Constitution, there's a division. The executive powers of the Prime Minister are unaltered, but the President has power with respect to important appointments. And But in all these instances, he does so, exercises his power after consultation with the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition. In one case, however, he does he acts without any necessity of consultation, and that is in the appointment of the independent senators. The Ombudsman. The Constitution provides for an Ombudsman who is appointed by the President after consultation with the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition. The Ombudsman is an officer of the Parliament. He investigates complaints of administrative injustice made by a minister or department or authority of government. This office is non-political. The watchwords I have chosen for the nation are discipline, production, tolerance. I appeal to you to let them ever be your guide to conduct. If we do this, we will build a nation which can hold its head high and be accepted anywhere in the world, and which any other nation will be glad to welcome as a friend. One final word. As we march forward to our great day, let us do so as a united people, bridging all the differences of class, race, color, and creed. I believe the people in Parliament do. Well, um, the laws of the country are made in, in, the, um, in the lower house and the, and the, uh, the lower house in Parliament and the um, Senate. The, the laws of the country are made by members of Parliament. And it... It's the members of parliament in parliament i would think yeah our elected representatives and the senate um debates um laws and they, they come up um with laws as they see fit and and it, ha so it happens in parliament the laws of the country is made by the legislative arm of government being parliament which comprises the opposition and the ruling party Legislature is another term for Parliament. Parliament consists of the President, the Senate, and the House of Representatives. The role of Parliament is to enact laws. Bills are passed by the House of Representatives and the Senate, and assented to by the President. Parliament may pass laws, but the Constitution can only be altered under certain conditions. The Senate consists of 31 members, referred to as Senators. The President of the Senate presides over the Senate. The House of Representatives consists of 41 elected members, referred to as Members of Parliament. The presiding officer of the House is the Speaker. Freedom of speech is an important privilege in the Senate and House of Representatives. Democracy means more, much more, than the right to vote, and one vote for every man and every woman of the prescribed age. Democracy means recognition of the rights of others. Democracy means the equality of all in the eyes of the law. Democracy means equality of opportunity for all in education, in the public service, and in private employment. I repeat, and in private employment. Democracy means the protection of the weak against the strong. Democracy means the obligation of the minority to recognize the right of the majority. Democracy means responsibility of the government to its citizens. The protection of the citizens. Of